here at the Bone Marrow Transplantation Ghana and Comprehensive Sickle Cell Foundation Clinic at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. Yeah, okay. All right. I told you from my house that the, by the grace of God, everything will be okay. So you see that you are not feeling any pains. You're not feeling any pains. All right. So the Lord is in control. Okay. And Leshiba and her father have traveled 43.4 kilometers from Manfe in the okay. Eastern region to the regional capital Accra to access treatment. Her father tells me the toll of having a child with sickle cell anemia is enormous. She sometimes tells me, Daddy, what's wrong with me? Uh, sometimes I want you, I don't want to disclose what is happening to her. Uh, sometimes when she gets into severe pain, she tells me, oh, Daddy, am I going to die? Uh, so I'll pray with her. Uh, after praying with her, then she'll tell you, okay, I believe I'm okay. Sometimes she'll go to school and I'll be called to come and pick her because she has a crisis. As we are speaking now, they are writing exams. Uh, I have to speak to the teachers so that they keep her paper and then next week she will write it. I think within last two months, I have to go and pick her from the school more than six times. Yeah, or I should go to the school and complain about stomach pains, chest pains and sometimes pains in the joints and that will not let her concentrate. So I have to quickly go and pick her from the school. Aleshiba has to forfeit examinations in school to undergo this important treatment, the automated red blood cell exchange transfusion. I asked him why he read that and difference from my other siblings. Because they don't normally get sick. Sometimes they come and put that come and take me from the school as we are learning because of the pains. For many patients living with sickle cell disease in Ghana, going through a pain crisis is not a pleasant experience. Here at the Bone Maru Transplant Center at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, little Elishiba is undergoing a blood exchange process in which her abnormal cells are being exchanged with healthy red blood cells. After this process, she undergoing a pain crisis episode will reduce drastically and improve her quality of life. But the big question is, when will this process be available to every child and every person living with sickle cell disease in Ghana? <laughs>